So, so in addition to the tech, which you're talking about, yeah. it also seems to me that one of the things people learn when they do their own podcasts is they learn about expression. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, I asked you the question, and then you took a minute to, to compose an answer. Mm -hmm. So you were doing, you were actually going through an editorial process here, thinking about how to right. express it. Yeah, that's true. So um, it seems to me that's an important, that's also an important piece of advice, or it's an important thing that people learn, right? Right. As yeah. they do their own podcasting. Yeah. Um, I actually, I think it's really important to produce content at a quality level, at a high quality level. You're competing with major broadcast studios, with major major studios like National Public Radio if you're doing audio. And um, if you want your message to be heard and received, it needs to not be schlocky junk with your dog barking in the background. Um, I've actually written a training system called Talk Show Tips because so many people are getting into podcasting and vidcasting and doing interviews. And um, I've created a whole system that teaches people how to book really good guests to interview, how to conduct a flawless interview, and then how to use social media to radiate their work so that they can get the level of appreciation that they deserve for the work that they're putting into it. And um, I feel really good about that because a lot of people are interested, but they need some guidance. And so I took literally 25 years of speaking experience and my last five years of interviewing hundreds of people. And I put that together with everything I do to market and promote our shows into a single product. And I hope that it's the same as personal life media. Creating content that teaches people something or moves them to the next level. I think that's what I'm about. I'm a publisher at heart. <laughs> and where's Talk Show Tips available? Talkshowtips.com. Okay. You don't even have to say URLs anymore. Everybody's <laughs> Google, everything is Googleable. If I wasn't the number one search result for Talk Show Tips, I would have said the URL. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Okay. Well, yeah, so, so you're a promoter of what I've been a promoter of, which is pe people say to me, they still say to me, you know, I want to grab 50 domain names because I want to protect my brand. And I say, really, your brand isn't going to be in the domain name anymore. No. Your, your brand name, because people are using Google to yeah. get there. Google and is in, the navigator. And in fact, today people are, are going on YouTube and searching on YouTube. Yes. It's the number two search engine now in YouTube. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I've heard from a lot of people that the kids, when they're doing homework now, would much rather search YouTube than search Google. Oh, that's because interesting. Because then they can just watch some videos. Right. Rather than having read to it. read the stuff. Ouch. I don't know. I, I, must, I probably sound like a crusty old lady that I don't think that sounds so good. But my daughter woke up early this morning to read the book that she's reading, and she laid in bed before school and read her book, so I'm not that worried. She stole my flip video camera, and she got up early to read her book. Yeah. <laughs> well, that shows. I mean, yeah. you've, got, you've, got, uh, you've got a household here in which everyone values creativity. Yeah. They're valuing creating well, things and communicating. Yes, that is actually, I told my daughter that she can be on the inter internet as much as she wants to, as long as 50% of the time that she spends online, she's creating rather than consuming the content. So the rule is, if you want to spend five hours online, two and a half, you're creating. I think it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm.